Welcome everybody to Waterbox Wednesday, Waterbox Live. Rich, wow, what a weekend. I feel like I haven't slept in like <laughs> four or five days. Uh-huh. That's why I'm wearing these sunglasses. Listen, these <laughs> awesome glasses were supplied by Fritz Aquatics um, at the Aquashella event up in Chicago. Man, those guys put on a show that it was very impressive. That was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. A lot yeah. of fun. But before we get into all the announcements and everything else, I think we're ready to start the show. Let's, Let's do go. it. Welcome back. As you can see, everything looks a little orange. That's because we're actually showing you what it looks like wearing the glasses. Look at that. What <laughs> happens is these glasses guys actually take out the UV light from the blue spectrum that the LEDs put off so that the corals and the colors, you really kind of yeah, see the kinda, true yeah, colors. You, yeah, you can see the colors a lot better. Really, really. And also, Dean, when you, when you hook them up with, with yourself, or if you put them in front of your cell phone when you're taking a picture, yeah. it helps a lot. It's awesome, yeah. Picture. So definitely you can always try and grab some of those. We'll do a couple quick shout outs. Uh, a bunch of people watching us. Edward, Francois, Patrick, Jason. Patrick Burns says, looking good, fellas. Uh, Edward <laughs> says, hello, Rich and Dean. So welcome. Thank you so much for joining us today. We're talking about preparing and adding water to the Platinum 100.3 that we've got. Yeah. And very, very important topic. I know it's sometimes it's simple about water, but the water quality is crucial. I mean, crucial. Mm -hmm. Crucial. And what, what do people really need to start to get clean water? Right. So, you know, when, when you're adding new water, especially to an unestablished aquarium mm -hmm. or established, it's important that you guys invest in a few things to ensure your long term success. One thing you see here right in front of us is especially if you're mixing your own water, yeah. you're gonna want a refractometer. Don't yeah. buy a hydrometer, they're yeah. not accurate. Exactly. These are about $50, they'll last you a long time. Um, very easy to calibrate. So if you're mixing your own water, use a refractometer, very important. Very Second important. thing, Dean, mm -hmm. and you can kind of elaborate on this, yeah. is an RODI unit. Yes, stands for a reverse osmosis unit. So what happens is this unit filters the water through a micron, through carbon, through a deionization resin, uh, as, as well as a membrane. What happens is it takes your total dissolved solids and brings it down to zero. Right. So for people that don't understand, like if regular tap water, if you actually tested the total dissolved solids, it's going to be pretty high. Right. And what happens is you put that in your aquarium, the lights, the bacteria hits it all of a sudden, things start happening. Yeah, you get a lot of algae, you're gonna yep. get a lot of uh, metals. I mm -hmm. mean, every every city's water is different. Absolutely. So yep. there's gonna be all these nasty things that do not mm -hmm. jive well with a, especially a saltwater aquarium. Yeah. So if you can invest in an RODI unit, go to your local fish store who does have a commercial RODI unit and buy the water from them. Absolutely, yes. Do so not you, use yeah, tap water. If you don't wanna invest in the, in the unit uh, for your home, it's okay, I said most aquarium shops have uh, the water you can buy. You can already buy it pre-salted or they also sell it fresh as well. Right. So, and um, you're going to need the fresh water for your evaporation water. So again, of even mixing your salt water you want RODI and when mm -hmm. you're adding evaporation water back into the tank, auto top off water, you're going to want RODI water as well. Do not put tap water in. Yes. Don't get lazy. Yeah, for <laughs> real. Uh, a couple more shout outs. Uh, let's see, we got Yuri from Yuri Fographies in the house, Sylvain, uh, Patrick, um, Francois is watching, Edward, uh, Mike Schrader, Jessica, Patrick, Rayset. Patrick says, what's on your face? <laughs> These things, man, these are <laughs> awesome. These are the UV glasses uh, to look at your corals. I uh, got to get you some of these, man. So uh, Stephen says he likes the sunglasses and Angie's watching as well. So uh, let's go ahead. We shot uh, some video for you guys to check out um, about preparing the water and mm -hmm. filling up the 100.3. It's very, very exciting because we're one step closer to adding fish and getting this thing fired up. So let's check it out. Hi, 
I am super excited because I've been waiting for this moment for a long time. It's now time to add the water to the Waterbox 100.3 build that we're working on. Let me quickly show you how I prepared the water so we can get started. We are preparing our water with a reverse osmosis unit. This unit purifies the water to remove all organics and dissolved solids. Next is time to add the salt to the water. We want to do this very slowly and sprinkle the salt into the, your water container. And remember, do not add the water to the salt. Always add the salt to the water. Make sure to oxygenate the water properly to dissolve the salt completely. Use a refractometer to measure the amount of salt in the water. Hold the refractometer up to the light and look through the viewing lens. Ideal natural seawater is 1.023. Now we're gonna go ahead and fill up the tank. I wanna make sure that we add the water very slowly and I'm gonna actually trickle it over these rocks so that uh, it doesn't disturb the sand bed too much. As the water approaches the teeth in the overflow box, please be aware that the water will then begin to fill up the sump underneath. Now that we've filled up the tank and actually plugged in our vector pump, it's now time to adjust the water flow in the overflow box to make sure that this tank gets whisper quiet. The gate valve on the Waterbox Platinum Series is very unique. It's included with all the systems and it is very fine adjustment. You literally just turn it left or right and it will adjust the water level height in the overflow box. So you'll notice the water level in the overflow box is actually a little too high. So we actually need to turn the valve to the left to open up the pipe so that more water flows into the sump. So as I do that, you'll notice the water level will drop in the box, causing the box to be really quiet. Now that we've got the tank running, it's been a few days, you'll notice we added some uh, carbon into the tank to really help clear up the water, and it is beautiful, crystal clear. We're one step closer on this 100.3 build. Stay tuned as we continue to keep adding to this project. Well, I was hoping that y'all are paying attention because the first person who can comment below and tell me what the salinity level should be wins this book right here. Bang Guy Cardinal Fish. And then first the last to comment. four people, because we're not going to leave y'all hanging, we're going to give you free glow in the dark water box bracelet. Of course. So Good job on that. Comment. Video, Great job. Appreciate it. Also, guys, listen. Like us on Facebook. We're at 140,000. We're getting one step closer to the million likes that we're looking for. Look at that. Just as I said that. Woohoo. People are testing us. Now, listen, <laughs> everything goes back down to water quality. Um, I said it's so important. Uh, a couple people asking. Um, Joshua says, Y'all make me a sandwich. I'm going to make you a sandwich, Josh. Listen, turkey, ham, yeah, roast what beef. What do you like? Come on now. <laughs> uh, Ryan says, How was Aquashella? It was a blast. Um, 
it was really I'm great. wearing these sunglasses because otherwise if I wasn't, you'd be able to tell I hadn't slept. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. Uh, let's see. John says, where can you get uh, an RODI system so I can have it set up in my house to do my own changing of the water? Uh, where can you go to get one of those systems? An RODI? Yeah. Uh, there's a number of places. You go to some of the bigger saltwater aquarium retailers. I know a, a real good one is saltwateraquarium.com or Bulk Reef Supply, which are partners of ours. Yeah. Um, Bulk Reef has a ton of selection there. Call their, their team, they'd probably get you set up pretty easily. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, Dave says, do you guys think treating Okeechobee with sodium bicarbonate is a solution? <laughs> That's a loaded question, I have no I, idea. <laughs> no idea, man. Uh, I know it's pretty terrible though, but this whole algae bloom is happening over there and it's just really, yeah. it's out yeah. of control, man. So, um, Mike Schrader says, great video, guys. Thank you, Michael. Uh, Mike says 1.023, that is correct. Wow, I think he was the winner too, if Boom. I'm correct. Look at that. Uh, Edward says lid on the overflow box. Uh, Patrick Burns, Jason, we had a lot of people commenting yeah. here. Looks like Patrick's getting a bracelet. Ryan's getting a bracelet. Um, yeah. Awesome. A few people there. So I said, so we're super excited. Rich, we're one step closer on this 100.3 build. I think all we need now is like an auto top off system. We need uh, a heater. Uh, the skimmer can come a little bit later. We don't need it right away, you know, once we get started. Um, we've got to throw some starter bacteria in there yeah. and pretty much... Get the cycle going a little bit, get yeah. the water a little bit more I think we could established to start yeah. adding corals and such. And we're, uh, going with, we're going with low demand, relatively low demand corals and invertebrates. Absolutely. Yeah. Kind of like so, you see behind us. Yeah, I think, you know, we could actually add our first cycle fish uh, very, very soon. So mm -hmm. um, definitely stay with us as we continue this build. Um, also tomorrow we might do another little special live show as well. We got some friends coming into town, so we might kind of show. We'll have a little impromptu live stream for you guys with some visitors. Yeah, so we have a lot of retail stores are in the area in Orlando. Um, if you are visiting Orlando area and want to come see us, you're more than welcome um, mm -hmm. to come check us out and see the studio. Um, but we got retailers coming because people are asking for a water box and this is a really, really great thing. Um, we're trying to expand the industry and exp expand the hobby so that we get more people to enjoy aquariums. Right, I and mean, water box the is the perfect platform and Absolutely. it makes it easier. I mean, yeah. it really simplifies the whole process. So that's why, uh, Absolutely. That's why water box has grown and that's why the family's strong. Yes, so uh, let's see. Mike Schrader says, boom, baby. Uh, Mahmood <laughs> says, for a reef tank, 1.026. Sean says, I don't know much about saltwater, but what are you going to use to seed bacteria in your tank that you set up? Good question. There are different types of bacteria on the market. A um, couple different manufacturers make them. Yeah, know, there's uh, a number of different manufacturers that, that make them. Um, Fritz makes one. Fritz, uh, Instant Ocean Secan, makes one. There's Instant a number Ocean. of different good ones on the market. Mm -hmm. And what that's going to do is help speed up the cycle right. and or eliminate it completely. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So we're uh, doing that. We got a question? Uh, yes, does the 100.3 have the sump with a fuge? And I've read that there's a top off section that can be converted into a fuge, but I don't understand how. Yes, let me repeat that question. So somebody's asking, is the 100.3 have a refugium built in? Uh, it does not. Um, the Pro Series that we do manufacture has a removable refugium. Right. So if you're looking for that refugium, you'll have to step up to the Pro models um, on that. Um, what was the second part of it was the... Um, if there is a top-off section, uh -huh. that can be converted into a fuge, but I don't understand how. So, so, mm. that's, so he's asking if the ATO system can be converted into a fuge. That's a great question. Yeah. We don't have any way to suggest doing that, but we do have water box owners that have done that. They've modified the plumbing to go mm -hmm. into there. Yeah. Um, maybe they've created, you know, they've drilled it in a different manner. But yeah, it can be done. Same thing yeah. with the Fuge and the 100.3. You could likely modify it, but mm -hmm. we don't have any suggestions as to how to do yeah, that. Yeah, I've seen some people do some crazy things to these water boxes uh, as far as modifications. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's, there's the, the possibilities are endless. But I do, I mean, it is possible. I guess you could use that Just gotta get creative. section. You've got to get creative. Yeah. Um, throw a refugium light over it, um, a small little pump to kind of pump it over. Um, it, it could be, it could definitely be done. Um, let's see. Um, trying to think. Man, we got a lot of people on the stream. I know it's Wednesday. We're a little tired. But <laughs> a little tired. A little tired. Uh, 
we're getting there. We're getting there, guys. And we're trying to get you the content. We're trying to, you got another one? Yeah, so. More questions coming in on the YouTube channel. What are you going to use to see bacteria in the tank? Yes, that? we said that. Uh, seeding the bacteria, once again, we're going to use maybe a Fritz product or haven't yeah, really decided Fritz, yet. Uh, you know, a startup product. Like Turbo Start. Yeah. Um, speaking of, Sean Hale's watching. Hello, Sean. Come on now. We're wearing your sunglasses. We're in the glasses, man. We're in the Fritz glasses. So um, <laughs> everything is really good. Vittorio says hi. Um, guys, stay with us. I said we're trying to get to a million followers. We're going to keep going on this 100.3 build. Uh, but once again, the water box aquariums, platinum series, Starfire glass, right. German silicone. Uh, the cabinetry is unbelievable. These Straight things are straight edge silicone seams, furniture yes. grade cabinetry. I mean, and look at this tank. We've look taken you guys all the way through the process of yeah. uncreating the water box. So if you haven't seen them all, go back. We've uncrated. We've added the plumbing. Yeah. Yep. We've added the lighting. We've added the circulation, the return pumps, and now the water. We're getting one step closer to actually getting to the really fun part, which yeah. is the animals. A absolutely. So Denise says, hi. Sean says, what fish are you planning to stock with? Uh, I, for one, like snowflake eels. I love snowflake eels, too. They're great. Um, <laughs> we're actually, I'm probably going to start with some clownfish. I'm going to be honest with you. You know, yeah. clownfish are pretty hardy fish overall. So uh, I like to put some of those in to start with, um, mm -hmm. get that, that bacteria and that process started. Um, Ryan says, super clean. Um, the only problem with the snowflake eels is sometimes they want to jump. Yeah, you know, they, want, they want to climb out of the tank. Eels with want our, to this go. This open, rimless aquarium yeah. doesn't really, uh, they're not, not going to like that very much if yeah. they end up on the floor. Um, Hanny says, what kind of rock are we using in the 100.3? That is actually the Marco rocks. Um, sent us that. And there's um, three different kinds of rocks in there, right, Dean? And we have the, uh, yeah. the, uh, the foundation rock, which is kind of cut in half. It is. Yeah, it's got a flat base to it. You'll see that it keeps it nice stable there. Um, there's just all kinds of multiple pieces there, some shelf rock. Mm -hmm. um, and it looks really, really good. It, it's, it's all natural. It's been cleaned. Uh, there's no uh, hitchhikers Hitchhiker. on that thing. So it's really, really great. Um, uh, Heath says, looks great. Mike, love those rocks. Yes, Mike, we love those rocks, too. Um, also, that sand comes from Marco Rocks as well. It's a Bahama sand. Um, really nice, clean look. Mm -hmm. um, I really like it. I think we're going to fill this thing up with some anemones, some, some anemones, soft some, corals. Yeah, some toadstools, different, really yeah. relatively easy to keep, easy to maintain, because what we're going for here is attainability by anybody. Absolutely. Anybody can own a water box. Anybody can maintain a saltwater aquarium. Yes. And that's what we're trying to show you. Love it. Guys, we totally appreciate you. We welcome you to the family, the Waterbox family. Come join us. Um, come be a part of everything. Yeah, thanks for um, watching, guys. We'll, uh, we'll see you again tomorrow. Yeah, special stuff coming. Stay Andy. tuned.